Hey y'all, welcome back to the Yacht Shop Creations channel. This is Jim, your humble host. Today we're gonna do installment number six of the conversion from an ambulance to an RV. We're calling it the Bear Project. So let's get started. <laughs> We're gonna follow the same technique in the back as we did on the front around the fridge and the air conditioning. Do aluminum framing and we have a plate here that's gonna be the inside of our garage and our cabinetry. This is the CAD drawing of the inside of the bear that we came up with with Steve, kind of laid it out. So this section that we're working on right now is underneath the bed right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plate this. We'll come across here with the plate, bringing up the bulkhead that's gonna separate the stove from the bed. Now we decided to use plate. We originally were gonna use Baltic plywood, but as we got laying it up, it's gonna be much easier for us to just go ahead and weld everything together. And the plate doesn't actually add that much weight over what the plywood would. So two sheets of uh, plate was 170 pounds. If you imagine five eighths plywood, pretty close to that. This is gonna give us a stronger framework inside the garage area. So what I need to do is to weld this plate onto the boxes. As you can see down here, we are have a little bit of an issue. So you come off from the wheel well, you have gaps to the interior cabinetry boxes. So this is the cover for the fuel, and then this is an exterior box out here. So what I'm gonna do is add some pieces of plate to these boxes and making up the difference. And then I'll drill through the aluminum and weld onto the plates that I've added. So it'll make a really nice framework for this. Pretty excited, so let me get started. Okay, so I just finished up welding. It's a little U-channel, aluminum U-channel in. What I had to do was cut it for the different dimensions of this box as it went down in order to keep it level. So as you can see, it was shaved down like for each one like a slightly different dimension so that it kept it level from the wheel well so that's all welded in i had a little bit of an issue with this because the material is real thin so every time you want to put a weld on it it would want to pull away from the channel we got by with it but I'm not particularly crazy about the way the welds look because just can't heat them up enough to make them look super smooth nobody's going to see it it's just me being ridiculously anal so now I have the plate here that we had yesterday. Set it in accordingly. Now that's all great. How do we weld it in? I think we have to drill some holes. All right, let me get to that and I'll be right back. Wow, look at that. It's amazing what you can buy on Amazon. <laughs> with Prime, you get it the same day too. It's amazing. Order in the morning, get it in the afternoon. And it fits too. All right, so uh, another thing left to do is weld it in. So let me get fitted up and I'll get show you how we do that. Okay, so that plate's tacked in now. The second thing to do after that plate's in there is we're gonna have to frame up inside the already existing framing, which does not allow for the length of the bed. So I've cut this piece, which is a one by two. I've kind of marked it on the bottom and the top. And what's amazing with this is the framing is really straight, so I can actually kind of work off the framing to put this piece in because it is pretty square. So now what that's gonna do is it's gonna be my vertical bulkhead between the bed the stove and this is what I'm going to attach it to. So I'm just going to weld this in. We'll go over and start making the pattern of how we're going to do that for the face of this. So let me get this welded in and we'll be right back. Well we have all of the framing added in. So if you see up here I had put in more additional framing um, and the one problem you have to be careful with this stuff is when you're welding it up you don't heat the outside skin too much or make it pull away. A lot of times you can't put the welds all the way up to the top because you just don't want to overheat that, pop the paint off the outside. So we're in this frame in. This is going to be our bulkhead that goes down beside the bed. And if you notice on the drawings, this is going to be that vertical bulkhead and the stove will be over here. I have that much of it in and now we ordered another plate from Amazon. It just happens to fit in just perfect. Boom, done. So I'm going to weld this in now and I've drilled some holes similar to what I did on the other plate. Even though I can do a little bit of welding on the inside, I like this concept. Punches it in real tight. Being able to do this. Once that's welded in, 
Then I'll put an additional piece of plate up here to finish out the bulkhead and that'll be wrapped with plywood on both sides. So the Baltic plywood that we're using, you'll have a nice grain pattern showing and there'll also be some cutouts for some handles or some, you know, grab handles up here. So this plate that I put in the next plate is going to be a little narrower and you'll see that when I get it in and then we'll cut out because we don't want to cut the aluminum out. I'd rather cut that out of the plywood. But you'll see all that as I'm going along. But let me get this welded up and then we can make the next piece coming out. Cool. Who gets to do this? Only the gym. Somebody actually trusted me with their equipment to actually weld this and just continue on putting little pieces in. I think they made the right choice, but I'm partial anyway. Okay, that's enough to hold it for now. It's in there pretty well. So the next thing would be to make a pattern for the top. Well, let me get started with that. All right. So that's what the pattern looks like. And what that's going to do is that's cut out for the wire to run up here, which we're going to have all the power is going to run up inside behind the cabinets up here. So we got the little notch out for that. I would like to drill this accordingly so we can tack through it. Got to make some marks where I want to drill it. Okay, so we'll just get started with it from here. So this is what we call in the business a wardrobe malfunction. Actually, I wanted to reach out to you all and remind you and for those that you don't know, I made a video about two years ago of um, Hard Road to Sobriety. Got a lot of good comments on that. And today is October 3rd, 2019, which is five years of sobriety for me. Over the last five years, I've changed, gone through divorce, lost the business name, starting all over again changed as an individual. You know, sometimes the change can be hard, but change can be everything in your life. When I stopped drinking, I lost 50% of my friends. When I went through a divorce, lost the other 50%. Now I'm down to like maybe five, and they all know who they are. They're all some of my greatest friends. So a lot of times when I tell you I'll make something cool, it doesn't necessarily mean we're making something out of wood or metal making our life cool too. We all have the power to change and make people's lives around us better and our own. Remember, the most important thing is your personal happiness. If you can't be happy, then nobody else is going to be happy around you. Well, it's time for me to get back into my other clothes and finish up what we're doing today. Oh wow, I fit the first time. It's always nice when that happens. Clamp it in here a couple places. All right, now I can't really get the uh, clamps down along this section to hold it. Just made up some little plywood blocks that you can ram in like this. It's pretty cool how that works. And then we're really gonna need to keep the front of the plate straight. So we're gonna put this on here like so. This will be a cool weld process. So I won't be able to heat it up too much, but it's already V-grooved down here so that you can weld it in put the two plates together and then I need to make a cut accordingly so that when we put our handles on the bed or about it the way we want to be here we'll put our handles in the frame up here and that gives us our bulkhead now I just have to weld it in cool take care of that all right we got a, just a slight distortion in that plate when I put it together that way so you know somewhere around a quarter of an inch right in the center but We'll push that back out and then weld it from the other side, make it all straight. Now remember this uh, aluminum panel is going to be sandwiched between the Baltic plywood. We need to grind it up smooth, make sure it sticks with the adhesive, and you'll never see it again. It's just a structural thing. There it is, one side of the bunk sort of done, framed in, ready for some more. So the next video will make the opposite side, close that in, start making the cabinetry over here, and we will keep you informed as we go along. So thanks for watching, spend some time with somebody you care about, make something cool, and we'll talk to you all soon.